Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about sexually transmitted infections or sexually transmitted diseases. In this five to seven minute video, I'm going to define sexually transmitted infections tell you about the dangers, risks, and complications of these infections, and spend a few moments talking with you about prevention. So what's the definition of a sexually transmitted infection? It is a disease that is spread through sexual contact. It is a disease that is obtained by having sex with someone who has a sexually transmitted infection which puts you at risk for contacting that infection. It is very common. Approximately one in four Americans have a sex sexually transmitted infection. So what are the dangers of an STI? Chlamydia and gonorrhea can make a woman sterile. Herpes can cause sores on the genitals and can recur over and over again. HPV or condyloma causes genital warts and certain types can lead to cervical cancer in women. During pregnancy, a sexually transmitted infection can be a fatal infection to the unborn infant and HIV can result in death. So how do you get a sexually transmitted infection? It is usually through vaginal, oral, or anal sex. It can spread through contact with the vagina, the penis, the mouth, or the rectum, even without penetration or sex. Some sexually transmitted infections, such as HIV, hepatitis B, and C, can occur through sharing of needles. So let's talk a few moments about prevention. The surest way not to get a sexually transmitted infection is to know your partner does not have a sexually transmitted infection before engaging in sexual intimacy. I suggest using a condom, and I call to your attention there are condoms for both men and women. I caution you not to use lotions creams, or even Vaseline with latex condoms as the oil can weaken the condom and cause the condoms to leak. Instead, I recommend using KY jelly, which is a water-soluble jelly, or Astroglide. I call to your attention that spermaticides are not effective in preventing a sexually transmitted infection. And finally, I recommend that you get tested if you or your partner uh, have a history of sexually transmitted infection or if you have had multiple partners. What are the symptoms of a sexually transmitted infection? Usually can consist of sores, bumps, or blisters on your genitals, anus, or mouth. It can also consist of burning with urination or itching on the penis or in the vaginal area. There can also be a vaginal or penile discharge and can cause pain in the lower abdomen and pelvis, especially in women, and can also cause unexplained vaginal bleeding. So what are the treatments? First, I recommend do not have sex until treatment for both partners is completed. Take all of your medicine as prescribed by your physician and do not take anyone else's medication. I think it is imperative that you tell your partner that you've had sex with that they may have a sexually transmitted infection and need to be tested and if confirmed that they do have an STI that they be treated. And also suggest that you talk to your doctor about getting vaccinated especially against hepatitis B and HPV. For more information, I recommend you contact the National STI hotline at 
1-800-227-8922 or the Center for Disease Control Services provides information at 1-800-232-4636. I hope you have found this information helpful and useful. Thank you.